Puppies. Here we go. Three pups think about this gloom, huh? Is this nice weather though? This is nice weather, huh? California dogs. You don't know what you want with that toy, huh? All right, so it is Sunday morning, beautiful Sunday morning, and it's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. Hope you have a good day. I hope everybody out there treats their dad well. But the dads, I think sometimes, I think, I think they sometimes get dissed, you know, when it comes to, to Father's Day. It gets lumped in with dads and grads, right? They don't get the, the full day that they deserve, but that's all right. You know, because that's, that's what, a, what part of being dad is all about. It's being selfless. Father's Day, you know, it's a little different, right? Fathers don't really need to have the whole day planned out. It's just kind of come and just go with the flow, barbecue, swim, whatever you want to do. It's kind of, kind of fun, you know? So I appreciate all the fathers out there, all the dads. Keep doing what you're doing because the biggest thing we can do as fathers is be there. But. We got a garage sale. You puppies got anything? You want to sell anything? Do you want to sell anything? Do you have some toys? Oh, oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 We'll we'll sell the toys. We'll sell them. Just no bones. I got it. No. Or is that what you're taking? You're taking payment and bones. Okay. Bones only. So yeah, all this was all this was just gonna get thrown away, uh, anyways. So. I started making a pile back there and they're the throwaway stuff and I was like why don't we just have a garage sale in the morning like just have a quick garage sale like we'll throw up a couple signs throw this stuff out there see what happens sell it for a couple bucks it's better than throwing it away uh so we're gonna see what happens right now and then typical typical California fashion there's already people outside we said 7 to 11 and it's six o'clock there's already people waiting outside First guy that was already here, I, he he dropped like 250 bucks. Just bought a ton of stuff. So uh, Josh was kind of stoked on that. My brother-in-law, Josh, they sold their house in Norco as well, um, and they are making the move to Tennessee. So that is another piece of this whole story of why we came out here because uh, we packed up. Well, Tracy's little sister packed up, and we've been helping just wrap up um, to move her to Tennessee now. So now her sister and uh, her husband and kids and dogs and everything will be moving out to Tennessee. Uh, we're gonna drive out there. She's gonna drive out there with us. Uh, so that was another piece of why we came out here to uh, help them pack up and drive out. So that kind of completes like the family chapter out there. Like everyone will be in Tennessee now as far as Babs's family goes. Um, so the kids will be out there, it'll be great. Um, they had a ton of stuff at the house, so that's why Josh brought it all down here. He's like, why not, if we have the yard sale, why not try to get rid of stuff? So he's already doing good this morning. I don't care what we make off his garage sale, none of this is my stuff. I just am trying to make a buck or two uh, extra for them on stuff they're gonna throw away. Uh, so if we walk away with $100, it's $100 more than you had, and you go to a nice dinner. Um, so I gotta put up signs. I didn't even put up signs yet. We already have people there. Uh, Josh put it on Facebook and some other things, but uh, sign signs are big. Uh, this is one of your biggest pieces as I've learned with yard sales like I love yard sales I will do yard sales all the time. I love like haggling and just like, you know Just going at it price wars and stuff trying to because I know what the stuff is it, it really doesn't have value to me uh, But it's fun to see what you can get sometimes or what someone will pay for an item uh, My father-in-law on the other hand thinks everything is worth a million dollars He has no idea of like street value pricing um, I don't care. I don't care about the possessions. I don't care about the money I'll sell everything for a dollar if I have to, uh, because that's just less stuff for us to have and worry about. Uh, so where are we gonna go? Let's see. Sign sign placement is crucial. Um, so we have we have three pretty big off ramps here, um, within like a short span. So I'm just gonna put them at all of the major intersections, uh, just with with the street name on it and the time, and uh, that's that's usually enough. Like usually I do much. Usually I take it a whole nother level up with, with bright colored poster board and stuff and make sure I have like the right placement and kind of strategize arrows and all that stuff. This I don't care about. I just need to put some signs up so we can get some stuff sold. So quick sign tip too. Uh, usually I use like a tack hammer and really try to get it into like the wood poles so they stay uh, But if you got to use tape and you only have the metal poles 
Uh, take a towel so that way you can wipe down the pole, get any dirt and debris off of it. And then uh, add, a, add a layer of tape first before you put the sign on so it gives you a nice little layer to tape to. And then put your sign on there and uh, you should be good to go. And another big piece when it comes to the yard sale, it goes both ways if you're the buyer or the seller. It's always like divide your money in your pockets like you know how much you want to spend you know how much you're gonna pony up and don't pull all your cash out at once right if you're going to buy because then obviously if it's like 20 bucks you talk them down to five then you pull out a hundred uh, yeah it's not gonna work out in your favor right so same thing if you're the seller keep an eye on the buyer right watch watch the buyer because most often times like a buyer will come in buy something say six bucks they'll pay you the six bucks but they pull out a wad and then they'll end up walking back through and then all they see something else that they want to buy so they end up you know asking you again and now you kind of know what you're working with because you've seen that they have the cash and now you kind of know where you can haggle or not hey uncle matt's gonna give you soap <gasps> you want soap take one bite oh good girl good job. all right so we got all the friends friends over for a sunday service right it's a sunday service in california you're not allowed to social gather you could have you could have a sunday service and let people over so brought everybody over uh just to catch up and have some fun josh slayed the barbecue carne asada we got guac we made bacon wrapped shrimp it's delicious just hanging out you know just visiting with uh visiting with some friends from california like we used to you know i think the last time we were in california we had a pool party with these same people so it's been fun uh catching up with everybody and just sharing sharing our stories of california versus tennessee and what's going on with everything but we had so so yard sale went went okay we got rid of some stuff it's hard because it's father's day i mean like i totally like i get it and even when i was talking to them to have them over like i completely forgot it was father's day and they would maybe already have plans but both the boys daniel and joey were both like hell yeah we're coming over like for sure so we were going through some of the stuff yesterday trying to get rid of more of the stuff and dump stuff and there was more stuff in one of these containers that we needed to pack that's all trash back there some of this stuff is going the doghouse got to go the golf cart's got to go there's a there's a handful of things that have to go well i was going to drive that dump trailer that you see me taking back and forth to the dump with the uh, f-150 and that's a heavy trailer it's a heavy trailer and to drive that across all the way across the country with some weight in it like i don't know it just it doesn't sound like a good idea so they're trying to sell they're trying to sell the dump trailer while we're here plan was to leave tomorrow morning at 3 a.m that is not going to happen now that we have this extra stuff so we got this trailer is packed full that trailer is packed full so we had no option right we have all that stuff that's still got to go we only have one truck bed in the black truck that we're taking the f-150 you could put a little bit in the back of that truck but you can't tow that thing so we had to go out this morning and buy another trailer so we bought another trailer that we got to get loaded up so we're going to see how quickly we can get that loaded once everybody leaves and we you know the fun stops we're going to see how fast we can pack that maybe we get out of here tomorrow and start heading back to tennessee please maybe not maybe we leave tuesday so we're going to see how this goes yeah that's where we stand today i mean it's father's day this has been fun just catching up and just having a good time and just enjoying it's been beautiful weather california is supposed to get hot though tomorrow i'm looking forward to going back to tennessee and getting in that lake water and just enjoying that beautiful weather back there but it's, it's been a pleasure being here like i'm all right being here like i've had fun uh but i'm definitely ready to go back we are gonna load that trailer it might be late but that's all right we're gonna do it we sold the dump trailer some guy just came and bought it so just like that dump trailer was sold so we are going to start loading that trailer up see what we can do to get everything gathered packed and get out of here tomorrow because i need to get out of california i need to get back to tennessee just need a little little piece a little piece have you all noticed like when it comes to work stuff i have the same shirt every day that's because babs is so amazing and she does her laundry every night to keep us fresh and updated on clothes especially when it comes to the work clothes because we just destroy them throughout the door day out here in this dirt so uh, shout out to Babs. Babs, I love you. Thank you for, for keeping keeping me on top of my dirty shirt game. Like, I appreciate that. Man, I almost forgot about our fruit. We forgot the lemons and the limes. Like, we haven't, we haven't, we haven't put any of these in a crate. Like, we need to take limes. I'm going to be the best lime broker. 
in Tennessee. Now see, you could take limes out of California and into Tennessee. You could never bring limes or lemons from Tennessee back to California. California has a ridiculous border check, agriculture check, and they will not let anything in because God forbid a little fruit fly or something crazy like that comes in, it would ruin all of California. I think California's got that handled on their own. tonight my goodness oh what a day all right so we still haven't had in and out i'm pissed we have not had in and out yet and that needs to happen tomorrow i don't know we need to make sure we stop for in and out got a bunch more stuff thrown away uh found a bunch more stuff that needs to be packed so we're in a little bit of a predicament and this is one of those things like when it's when you move like you learn that you have a lot of crap and it's very good and cleansing because you get rid of a lot of it. You force yourself to purge and you're like, think about it, do I really need this? Am I ever gonna look at this again? Am I ever gonna use this again? What does this mean to me? All sorts of stuff. It's very interesting to watch the moving process, especially now that we're on the other side of it after doing it. I think I should start a business to help people move and just smack the you know what out of them and tell them you're never gonna use that again. Like you do not need this. Cause it's very interesting to watch people's attachment to possessions. People just love to have stuff and boxes of stuff that they're never gonna use. And that was one of the, the greatest feelings was when we started getting rid of stuff and garage selling stuff and then just giving it away. And then we get to, to Tennessee with just one trailer full of stuff and that's it. And we use almost everything that we brought too. There's probably some stuff we could get rid of uh, and slim down even further, but you know, I don't know. It's just, we're weird. We're weird as humans, as Americans, I guess. First world problems, right? We like to have things, I guess, and spend money on things because it brings us entertainment for a short period of time or enjoyment for a short period of time. It's another long day. What do you think, Babs? I think it's been a long day. That's what I was just saying. You but doing all right? I'm doing good. Hi, <gasps> hi, look at these puppies. These are her sister's dogs that are coming with us too. Sadie and Sophie. Sophie's the golden. So we're adding them to the farm. Look at you, huh? Are you, hey, you guys good girls? You good girls? All right, that's it. That is packed. Now we gotta wait until tomorrow because we gotta go get another hitch. We got a, a couple other loose ends to tie up and then hopefully hit the road by tomorrow afternoon. So we shall see. That is it, wow, long day, but finish line is so close. Wash your hands, stay cool peeps.